Hello everyone. Today let us learn how to draw simple geometrical shapes in solid works such as equilateral triangle, regular pentagon, regular hexagon, circle, concentric pentagon. Similarly, we will learn how to divide a line of 70 mm into 6 equal parts. Similarly, how to construct an equilateral by keeping one of the sides common to all the three that is square, pentagon, hexagon. Similarly, we will redraw this geometrical shapes in solid works. So now let us move on to SOLIDWORKS Open SOLIDWORKS Click on File New Select Drawing Click OK Now you can find the standard sheet size So if you switch it off, you will get all different standards of sheet size So here I want only IS4 So switch on this and check this box called Only Show Standard Formats A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 Select A4 size Switch off this display sheet format. Go to custom sheet size 297 210. Click OK. Now you can observe the sheet is ready. Always keep an eye on the units. It should be MMGS. Then comes a scale. Then let us try to apply first angle projection into my sheet. Okay, these are the initial settings which everyone should do. Next, how do I draw simple geometrical shapes? By going to sketch tab. So this is a sketch tab. This portion of the sketch tab will give me the entities for creation of entities such as line, circles, plane, ellipse, rectangle, arc, similarly straight slot, polygon, fillet and chamfer. So all these things can be created using this tab. Similarly, you can see this portion of the tab where it is used for editing those elements. Suppose if you want to have a copy of it, if you want to rotate or if you want to create multiple copies using offset option, similarly a pattern or mirroring. So all these things can be done in this portion. So this is used for editing purpose. This is used for creating purpose. So for creation, we use this. So let us learn how to draw a simple a line now. So you can see here, you can place a cursor on the line tool. It will show you a pre-animated way of drawing line. So you can see here, we need two points, start point and end point. So those are mentioned by clicks. So you can just mention the first click as a start point and the second click will be the end point of the line. So let me select the line tool now. As soon as you select the line tool, you can see here my cursor is replaced with a pencil. So which indicates that line tool is active. Now I draw a line, right? I draw a line. Now since the first exercise is of dividing a line of 70 mm into six equal parts. So in SOLIDWORKS, it's very easy. How do I do this? I will draw six line segments. One, two, three, four, five, six which are of unequal lengths, so not a problem. So I will select everything using box, then I will apply equal relation. So now you can see every segment will be having the same length, 13.29, 13.29, similarly. So now what I will do is, I will go to smart dimension, I will select this end point and this end point, and I will mention the distance as 70. So when you do that, you can observe the change in length now. You can see all line segments will be having 11.67 only, all line segments. Right. So it, let us try to dimension one of them. So now I will get a message saying that driven dimension, not a problem. Make this dimension driven. Yes. So this line length is controlled by the 70 mm, not this 11.67. Suppose if you if you change this to 80 mm, you can see this 11.67 will be changed to 13.33. So this is driving the line length. Okay. So let me change it back to 70 mm. So I want to remove this double zero. So how do I do that is go to options, document properties, dimensions, trailing zeros, default will be shown. So you need to remove that. Okay. Now you can see 70 shown as 70 only, not 70.00. Let me move this and place it somewhere on top and you can type the heading. So go to annotation, note. Geometrical constructions. Okay, this is the chapter name. Now, first problem is done. So, I can put a note saying 1. one point one. Okay. The first problem. The second problem is equilateral triangle. How do I construct equilateral triangle? Let's go to sketch tab. Go to polygon tool. Mention the number of sides as 3. Then, Click on the sheet, you will get a triangle, select any one of the side, make it horizontal, make it horizontal, go to smart dimension, click on the line, mention it as 30 mm. 
So 30 mm, this inscribed circle can be deleted by selecting it and press delete key in your keyboard. So this is created now. I can go to node and I can type 1.2a, right? 1.2a. Next problem will be 1.2b. Similarly, I have 1.2c. Right, you can just make use of the copy option. You can observe that the text will be retained for the next one, right? So I need not type it again every time. Only you can change the last letter. So the next one is pentagon of 30 mm sides. So go to sketch, go to polygon, number of sides is pi. Mention it. Select the side, make it horizontal. Go to smart dimension, click on the side, mention 30 mm. Press escape, select this circle, delete it. Now 1.2b is also completed, right? Now let us go to the next problem. Hexagon of sides 25. Go to hexagon, mention, uh, go to polygon, mention the number of sides is 6. Mention the hexagon. Mention the hexagon. Once again, same, repeat the same thing. Select the side, make it horizontal, go to smart dimension, click on the side, mention it as 25. Mention it as 25 mm. Drag it here. So we were able to complete 1.2a here, 1.2b, 1.2c. Right? Now we will be drawing. 1.2d circle of radius 20 so go to circle you can see here as soon as you select the circle there are two ways to draw the circle one is the center and the radius and the other one is the perimeter circle where we have to mention three points on the circumference now let us select the first option let me draw a circle go to smart dimension dimension this so diameter is 4 feet but if you, if you want to show only the radius portion since in the question they have said draw a circle of radius 20 you can always select the dimension go to leader mention the radius here so if you mention the radius you can see here it will show r20 right the dimensions will be same there will be no change that is diameter will be 40 radius will be 20. you can always move the circle by selecting the center you can move it without dimensioning if you try to move the the object size might change so always be careful whenever you move the object by using this points make sure it is dimension otherwise the sides will get changed okay now let us draw the next one that is concentric pentagon 30 mm as well as 50 mm sides so go to polygon number of sides is 5 draw a polygon here select this make it horizontal go to smart dimension 30 mm 3 0 Okay, similarly go to polygon, number of sides is 5. You have to select the center here. How do I select the center? Is place a cursor on the circle. Center will uh, get highlighted. Click on the center, draw on more pentagon. Draw on more pentagon. Select the side, make it horizontal, go to smart dimension, mention it as 50 mm. So two concentric pentagon of 30 and 50. Drag the dimension outside, place it. Okay, now delete the circles. The circles are not required. Now, if you observe, all the lines are thin, whatever I have drawn, but actually the object line should be thick. In order to do that, we have an option called line thickness. How do I do that is, right click on the tab, go to toolbars, you will find line format toolbar, click on it. Now, you can see this line format toolbar, which has been added here. Okay, this is a line format toolbar. You can place it towards your left side or bottom of the, your screen, right? This line format toolbar will help me in changing the line thickness as well as line type. Okay. Now I have to change the line thickness, right? So you can select the object. You can just draw a box, select it, make it to 1.5. You can observe the line length has been changed. Similarly, you can select using box and, sorry, select the line thickness, make it to 0.5. So select using box. So draw a box over the objects, go to line thickness, make it to 0.5. So can I use control A? Yes, you can use control A since there are no construction line here. If there are construction line, make sure those lines are thin, right? Now let me go to the next top problem. Let me construct the triangle now. Three number of sides is three. I'll draw a triangle, okay? And as usual, select the side, make it horizontal. Go to smart dimension. Dimension this as thirty. So in this problem, we have to draw a side which is coinciding with the side of the triangle. For example, if I draw a square, it should coincide with one of the sides of the triangle. Similarly, if I draw a pentagon, it should coincide with one of the sides. Similarly, if I draw an hexagon, it should coincide with one of the sides. So anywhere at any side you can take, but make sure all three have been mentioned. So this I will delete circle 
Now let me draw a square here. Go to polygon. Number of sides is four. Draw it. Now what I will do is I will try to apply relationships. That is, select this line, hold Control key, select this line, apply equal and parallel. So when you do that, both will be parallel to each other, and also the sides will be having 30 mm as well as 30 mm. But it will not coincide. In order to coincide, select this endpoint, hold Control key, select this endpoint of the triangle, click on merge. When you do that, then the endpoints will merge and you will get a square which will be coinciding with the side of the triangle. Same thing has to be done for pentagon also. Number of sides is 5. Draw a pentagon. Select the side. Select this side. Make it equal and parallel. Right? Now select this endpoint. Hold control key. Select this endpoint. Merge. Many students what they do is they will select the sides and try to merge. Sides cannot be merged because it can move along that line. So always remember, points has to be merged, right? Next is hexagon. Go to polygon, number of sides is 6, draw an hexagon. Now select this side, select this side, make it equal and parallel. Select this point, hold control key, select this point, merge, okay? Now if you observe, I can drag it and I can move it anywhere on the drawing sheet. The dimension will not change because I have applied the relationships, right? So now I'll select all these lines and I'll make it thick. Fine. Now I'll name this as 1.3. Okay. Let me add the next sheet because this sheet there is no space. Let me add the next sheet. You can see here next to sheet 1, we have an option called add sheet. Click on the sheet. So whatever the properties we had for sheet 1, the same properties will be carried forward here. You can once again confirm by Going to properties, you can see first angle, the sheet dimensions, everything is same. You can see same as a sheet, same as sheet specified in document properties, right? The sheet two. Now let us construct simple objects now. As you can see here in this problem, it's a square of 160 and they have divided into several parts by keeping a distance of 20 mm. Similarly here, if you observe, the parts are quite different and it is symmetrical here also. You can see it is symmetrical. And if you observe carefully here, it's 160 mm, but totally there are 11 parts here. So you should be care careful that last two components will be having 88 mm. Remaining are all of having 16 mm. Similarly here, it's about circular sketch pattern. This I'll teach you. So first let me take this problem of 1.4. So let me draw a square of 160 mm. And let me make a copy of a line at a distance of 20 mm. So if you take 116 to 160, almost this figure itself, it will cover the entire page. So what I will do is, I will reduce the scale of this drawing. So how to do that in drawing sheet, that I will teach you. Now if you observe carefully at the bottom of the drawing sheet, here you can see the scale. So select scale 1 is to 2. Once you select scale 1 is to 2, now the dimensions will get reduced. For example, if I draw a length of 100 mm, so it will be actual length will be here, it will be 50 mm. So let me show you. Go to sketch, polygon, Number of sides is 4. Draw it. You can observe now. The total length of the drawing sheet was 297. But still, now this line length will be very small. So first let me make it horizontal. Horizontal. Let me apply the dimension now. 160. You can see here. Right? So now you can see the length of this drawing sheet. I can accommodate 594 mm approximately. So that means the scale has been applied. Now let me move to this corner. Okay, I have constructed a square of 60 mm, fine. Now I have to divide this in several parts by keeping a distance of 20 mm. There are several ways to do. I'll teach you a linear sketch pattern, okay. Go to linear sketch pattern, mention the distance in x axis 20, how many you want, 8 I want, which line you want, this line you want. You can see it will stop here 8. If you give 9, 10, 11, 12, it will move away from the only, that is it will come here. So I should stop here, so I'll give 8 on the so these are the things which you can experiment, right? Just click OK. So when you do that, this is ready. So in a single click. How do I make the content? Select everything. Deselect by holding Control key. Go to line thickness, make it to point. This is how you can make it thick content, right? The next problem. The next problem is quite tricky. So if you apply carefully here, as I already told you, 16 mm, the last part will be of 88. If you take the midpoint of the line, 
this 160 mm this is where the midpoint will lie so i will what i will do is i'll draw the midpoint line from here to here from here to here then i will offset that line for a distance of 8 mm then 16 16 16 16 mm and whatever is left out will be 8 mm so i'll be doing that observe now we we'll go to polygon number of sides is 4 draw square here select the side make it horizontal smart dimension 160 mm right now after this delete the circle right go to construction line from midpoint to midpoint you draw line see this is the midpoint of the line to this midpoint of the line draw it similarly from this midpoint to this midpoint okay what i'll be doing here is i'll be drawing only the one fourth of the figure here then i'll be mirroring along y then both of them i'll mirror along x i'll go to trim entities i'll trim both the lines not required for the drawing then i'll go to this option called offset entities offset entities select chain will be on i'll give the distance as 8 mm 8 mm already i have explained you why 8 mm then which line i want this line and this line i want at a distance of 8 mm i will make sure that keep visible is active why because every time when i click here it will exit on its own and I don't want that to happen. That's why I'll pin this so that until I press escape, this will be active. Now I'll click. See here, it won't exit on its own. On its own. So this is active now. I got 8 mm. Next one should be of 16 mm. Right? Type 16. Select this line. You can see now the distance has been maintained as 16 mm. Click. 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 Okay. Like this. Easily you can get dimension so you can remove the dimensions or the problem select the dimension delete it okay so this is how i got it now next step go to mirror entities entities to mirror use box and select only these entities don't select the mirroring line mirror about this line okay click ok similarly select everything right go to mirror entities mirror about this line so this line is not required so what i will do is i'll deselect this line you need not hold control key you can see here you can just click to select and click on the same line to deselect okay mirroring about this line you can see here the preview click ok then later you can delete this line as well as this line now you can show the dimension that is from here to here it is 16 mm right that is what that, that is what is given in the problem now you can select everything and you can make it thick. Okay, next problem. I will mention the problem number 1.4a. This is 1.4b. Okay, now let us draw 1.5ab. See, so 1.5a. 0.5a so in this problem if you observe carefully they have drawn a pitch circle of 80 mm diameter and they have drawn one more circle of radius 40 that means it is diameter 80 so both the circles are having same diameter then they have copied it at regular intervals that will be doing it you can count the number of circles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 the inner one inclusive of that is 7 so the outer one is 6 the inner one will be 1 now let us go to circle go to circle draw two circles now okay first draw the circle dimension it has 80 mm diameter now go to circle select this as your center point select this as your radius right i will make this as the pitch circle how do i do that select the circle select this for construction will be converted to dotted line. You can see here long dash, small dash, which represents the construction. Next thing, how do I draw the remaining circles? Very easy. We have an option called circular sketch pattern. Go to circular sketch pattern. Click here. Very important. Mention the center. This is the center around which these circles will be rotated, right? That is why we need to mention that the rotation point is this. How many circles? Six circles I want. Which circle? This circle, right? the circle six circles i want so if you click okay now you'll get 
no. Okay. So let me delete the six, select the six deleted. Let me go to trim, switch on this power trim, delete the arcs which are not required. You can just trim it. Now you can see the arcs. Select this, deselect this, make it to 0.5. Right. Now let us draw this next problem. So here what I will be doing is I will be drawing three circles and one outer circle. Then once again I will use the same option of circular sketch pattern. Go to annotation, note 1.5b. Now I will draw three circles. Observe how I draw. Go to circle, draw a circle here of diameter 160mm. Right. So I can select this, I can drag it up a little bit and I can place it here. Then what I will do is observe, select circle option, place a cursor on the circle, center will get highlighted, click on this, this is center. Similarly, this is a circle, three circles I draw. After drawing these three circles, what you should do is select the center, hold control key, select this, select this. These three centers should be in the same line. So for that, I'll use an option called vertical. When I use an option of vertical, the centers will never move away from that vertical line. Next, what I will do is I'll select these three circles and I'll apply a relation called equal. Equal. So all three circles will be having equal diameter. Now I'll apply a relation called tangent. This circle and this circle should be tangent. Okay. Similarly, this circle and this circle should be tangent. Similarly, this circle and this circle should be tangent. By applying these relations, I have got three circles having 26.67, 26.67, 26.67. So this is how we, we get three circles. Then I will delete this circle, not required. I will be uh, using circular sketch pattern to copy these circles six times. Right? I will go to circular sketch pattern, parameters, this is center of rotation around which the circle will be rotated. I want six circles. Which circle? This is a circle. Click OK. When you do that, all circles will appear. Select all the circles. Go to line thickness. Make it to 0.5. Right? Now let us go to the last problem. If you see in this problem, the outer circle is having a diameter of 160. How do you know? Because you can see this radius of 40. So if radius is 40, this becomes diameter 80. So 80 plus 80, 160. Like that, we will get to know 160 mm is the outer diameter. Similarly, there are three more arcs here of R20, R40 and R60. Right? So we try to draw this in solid. Now let us draw the last one, 1.5c. Go to annotation, note, type 1.5c. Now go to sketch circle, draw a circle of diameter 160 mm. Diameter can be 160 mm. Then go to line, draw construction line, place a cursor on the circle. You will get this portion, draw this. Similarly, you will get this line. So this line should be construction. Select this, select this, make it to for construction. Now what you should do is go to circle, draw three circles. One, Sorry. So from here it should become tangent to this. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Now what I should do is I should try to apply the constraints. So this is 40 mm diameter. This is 80 mm. And this is 120 mm. 120 mm. See, when you do that, the relation has not been applied. So select the circle, select the circle, apply relation called tangent. Okay. So when you do that, the relation will be applied. Now what I will do is I will try to trim it. Go to trim. When you trim, some of the constraints, yellow color, red color might appear. Don't worry. We will try to remove that error. Okay. Right. This will happen. Not an issue. Now I will delete this arcs uh, dimensions. Okay, when you delete the dimensions, no more over constraint will happen. That you can see here it is 20, 40, 
and 60. Now what I will do is I will go to mirror entities, entities to mirror, this, this and this three arcs, select these three arcs, mirror about this Y. Click OK. Now once again go to mirror, mirror entities, this, this and this. Switch off this copy option. I don't want to have a copy of this. Mirror about X. Click OK. By this, I will get. Now I will go to smart dimension and I will dimension this. Okay. R20. No problem. So R40. R60. Okay. Like this, you can dimension and you can apply the line thickness as well. Select everything. Don't select the construction line. Very important. Okay, select only object. Object should be prominent, not the construction line. So this is how we complete the geometrical construction part. If you have any doubts, any questions, you can put it in comment section. I will help you out. Okay, thanks for watching the video.